Hi, I'm Garth McKenzie from traderscorner.co.za. Today we're taking a look at the S&P 500, but also taking a look at the question of whether this is a bear market rally or whether we're in a new bull market, because that is a discussion that's being very widely debated at the moment. First up, let's take a look at the chart of the S&P 500 itself. And there are a couple of things to say about this chart. First of all, we did get a nice pullback over the last week and the market pulled back into support at 29.50 and it seems to have bounced quite comfortably off of that level. Right now, the futures are pointing higher. So it does look as if this market still has a bullish bias to it. The, the RSI is holding above 50, which is typically what one wants to see in a rising trend. Also notice that the stochastic oscillator at the bottom of the chart there is making positive reverse divergence, which is also a bullish sign. The only slight concern I have here is that island reversal top that formed last week, but we have seen a couple of these forming during this rising trend and they've all been negated. So I think for the time being, whilst this market is above 3000 and the, above the moving averages, I think one's got to still give the benefit of the doubt to the upside here on the S&P 500. Now, in terms of the question of whether we're in a bear market rally or in a, a new bull market, it's not actually as straightforward as that. And one needs to scratch below the surface of the overall index itself and look at the stocks that make up the index to determine where we're in a bear market rally and where we're actually in a new bull market. So first of all, I want to take a look at a couple of old economy stocks that look as if they are making bear market rallies. First up is DuPont. This is a stock that was in a bear market before the market crashed anyway. Uh, it broke down below significant lateral support at $60 and had an almighty crash to the downside. It has now recovered very, very quickly, but notice how it's pushed up into that resistance zone, which is at $60 again, and at the 200-day moving average, and it seems to have failed there, and it's beginning to now turn down. That, to me, smacks of a bear market rally and a stock that's probably going to struggle from here onwards. The next one is the Ford Motor Company. Again, the stock broke down below lateral support in March and headed aggressively lower. The share price has recovered quite quickly, but it's now pushing up into resistance again where the breakdown happened at about $7.75 and the underside of the 200-day moving average. And I'd argue that this stock has seen a nice bear market rally and it's run into resistance and it's now starting to turn lower again from that uh, bearish trend that it was in already before the market crashed. The next one is General Motors. And here again, the stock was in a general bear trend anyway. It broke down below significant lateral support when the market crashed in March. The share price has now recovered quite quickly, but as with the others, it's pushed up into the underside of the 200-day moving average and into that lateral resistance. And it seems to have reversed down from there, and it looks as if it's now turning lower again to continue to the downside. So once again here, a bear market rally. So those are some of the old economy stocks that look as if they're setting up uh, for, for more downside, I think, after a bear market rally. But let's look at some of the new economy stocks that have really performed well. And I would argue this is where you have a, bear, a bull market intact in here. The first one is Amazon.com. As you can see, the share price did come off hard during March, but it's very quickly recovered its losses and it's gone on to make new all-time highs. And right now, all we're seeing here is a pullback from a new high. Very, very bullish chart setup, and there's nothing not to like about this chart from a bullish perspective. Facebook is up next, and again, notice the share price did sell off sharply during March, but it's recovered all of those losses very, very quickly, and it's making a new all-time high here now once again. The price seems to be consolidating above the prior highs, and I'd argue that's a bullish setup, and it probably ultimately resolves itself to the upside. So a nice bullish uh, pattern that's evident over there. The last one is Apple. And here again, the share price did sell off hard during March, but it's recovered all of its losses very quickly and it's gone on to make a new all-time high. If one believes that you buy the first pullback from a new all-time high, then Apple is setting up a nice pattern here at the moment to buy the dip essentially and buy the pullback into this prior high, which is what it seems to be testing now. So to go back to the original question, are we in a bear market rally or is this a new bull market? I think one can't look at the S&P 500 index to determine that. One needs to actually scratch below the surface and have a look at the stocks themselves because there are pockets of the market that are making bear market rallies and there are pockets of the market that are still in bull markets or making new bull markets and look as if they've got the upward momentum on their side. That's all I've got for you this week. I'll be back again next week with some more market analysis.